Yeah, I'll share an anecdote, which I think is kind of illustrative of the change in the regulatory framework from two or three years ago to today. I think the instinct of regulators was Bitcoin is a bad thing and sketchy you know, activity happens, so we have to be clamping down on it and be very negative. And I think ultimately, regulators are realizing that a permanent paper trail of every transaction that's ever happened is an amazing thing for government. It's great for law enforcement. It's great for fiscal tax collection. And there's a, um, an experiment that uh, a couple of U.S. federal agents conducted to see which system was better for money laundering, Bitcoin or the traditional banking system. And in extorting the Silk Road founder, they, each two different agents got a million dollars. And then over a very short period of time, wired a million dollars through four or five different banks and a big um, mutual fund company. Not a single bank reported any suspicious activity, even though you know, they're paying off their mortgages in one payment, they're you know, writing checks to cash for 30 grand and all that stuff. But it was two peer-to-peer -peer companies, Venmo and Bitstamp, that kept challenging you know, what was going on. It seemed like you know, something uh, suspicious was happening. Ultimately, um, you know, turned both of these agents in and they've been convicted of um, uh, crimes and are doing eight years in prison. I think that's a, it's really opened the eyes of the regulatory bodies around the world that blockchain has this paper trail of every transaction. So as soon as you find something, you can go back and find all of the crimes that are associated with it. Um, and it's really changed the attitude.